everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 26th of may 2022 let's start what is the venue of the 75th edition of the world health assembly so the world health organization is organizing the 75th edition of this world health assembly in geneva in switzerland so the 1 million accredited social health activist workers have received the global health leaders award 2022 and they were one among the six recipients of the award okay so the other recipients include eight volunteer polio workers who were shot and killed by the our gunman in the country afghanistan okay now let's see some of the important host which country is the host of the quad leader summit 2022 So the second in person Quad Leaders Summit is hosted by the country Japan and the quadrilateral security dialogue comprises India the US Japan and Australia So Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi attended the Quad Leaders Summit and the leaders of four countries review the progress of the group's initiatives So the newly elected Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese also joins the Quad Leader Summit for the very first time, right? Which city is the host of the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation Trade Ministers Meeting in 2022? So the host for this meeting is Bangkok. Which city is the host of the International Migration Review Forum 2022? Answer is New York. Which country is the host of the second Global Pandemic Summit held in the month of May? 2022 correct answer is usa which city is the host of intersolar europe 2022 event so the host for this event was munich which is the host of the northeast food show 2022 capital of meghalaya this is shillong which country is the host of the 24th summer deaf olympics in 2022 so this time it took place in brazil And talking about the Summer Deaf Olympics in 2022, motto was "Sports comes from our hearts." This was the motto. And what was the mascot for this event? Mascot was ring-tailed coati Nino, which means basically priceless. And what about the medal tally in this game? First was Ukraine. I am writing it here. Then second was USA with total. 55 medals and ukraine had total 138 medals and after that iran with total 40 medals and at fourth place it was india with a total of 17 medals okay next question what is the theme of the international day for biological diversity 2022 so international day for biological diversity is observed on 22nd of may every year and the theme for this year is building a shared future for all life so united nations proclaimed this day which aims to spread awareness about the issues of biodiversity in the world and union minister for environment forest and the climate change mr bhupendra yadav inaugurated the biological diversity exhibition at chennai now let's see some of the important days and themes celebrate is the theme of which international day actually world 
टर्टल डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ मे ग्लोबली टू रेज अवेयरनेस अबाउट द वेज टू हेल्प द टर्टल्स टू सर्वाइव इन देयर नेचुरल हैबिटेट सो दिस ईयर थीम वॉज सेलिब्रेट विच मीन्स टू आस्क एवरी वन टू लव एंड सेव टर्टल्स एंड दिस स्पेशल डे वॉज फाउंडेड बाय द अमेरिकन टर्टाइज रेस्क्यू विच इज अ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन द ईयर What is the theme of the World Red Cross Day 2022? So we observe this day on 8th of May, and this year theme was be human kind. Okay. What is the theme of the World Book and the Copyright Day 2022? It is observed on 23rd of April, and this year theme was read so you never feel low. What is the theme of the Earth Day 2022? It is observed on 22nd of April every year and this year theme was invest on our planet. Okay? And before one month from Earth Day means on 22nd of March we celebrate the World Water Day. And this year theme was ground water making the invisible visible. What is the theme of the World Heritage Day 2022? This day is celebrated on 18th of April and this year theme was heritage and the climate. Fine. What is the theme of the National Fire Service Day 2022? This day is observed on 14th of April and this year theme was learn fire safety increase productivity. Okay? So these were the some important days from the month of april next question what is the government's total fertilizer subsidy in the year 2022 to 23 so the central government announced an additional fertilizer subsidy of 1.1 lakh crore rupees amidst the rising prices of the fertilizer and this has been announced in addition to the fertilizer subsidy of 1.05 lakh crore in the budget so with this the government's total fertilizer subsidy is set to touch a record 2.15 lakh crore rupees in 2022 to 23 and the fertilizer subsidy stood at 1.62 lakh crore rupees last year means in 2021 to 22 okay so this time it is touching a record high value of 2.15 lakh crore rupees let's see some of the important yojana that were in use What is the subsidy announced by the Union Finance Minister for the LPG cylinders purchased under the Ujwala Yojana? So Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman announced the excise duty cut of 8 rupees per liter on petrol and 6 rupees per liter on diesel. And also she announced a subsidy of 200 rupees for those who are buying the LPG cylinders under the Ujwala Yojana. and the cuts have been made in road and infrastructure says which is not shared with the states and so the burden lies with the center only and this duty cut has a revenue implication of 1 lakh crore rupees annually for the center okay which state implements the indira gandhi shahari rozgar guarantee yojana so rajasthan chief minister ashok gehlot has launched this indira gandhi shahari rozgar guarantee yojana in the 2022 to 23 state budget and employment will be provided for up to 100 days in a year and the state will bear an expense of 800 crore rupees so all people who aged between 18 and 60 years and residing within the urban body limits are eligible for this scheme so recently the job description of the scheme was launched which includes for example tree plantation cleaning ponds and the lakes collecting garbage from door from door to door and segregating it catching stray animals etc fine so do remember that this yojana belongs to the state rajasthan which regional rural bank backed six national awards from the pfrda for achievement in the enrollment of atal pension yojana this is karnataka vikas gramin bank many a times we have talked about it Which state government has introduced the Mukhya Mantri Udyam Kranti Yojana, which offers subsidized loans for the self-employment up to fifty lakh rupees? 
So recently this Yojana has been implemented Madhya Pradesh government which state recently created the Mukhya Mantri Bagwani Bhima Yojana website with a 10 crore rupees starting capital for the scheme. So this Yojana itself belong to the state Haryana and under it the farmer would be compensated if their crops are damaged due to natural disaster. Din Dayal Antyoda Yojana National Rural Livelihood Mission has named which bank as the best performing bank in the self-help group linkage. This is HDFC Bank. And don't forget that HDFC Bank has been declared as the best private bank at the Global Banking Awards 2021 recently. Right? Next question. Which institution released a report on profiting from the pain? So profiting from pain is released by the Oxfam International when the World Economic Forum meets for the first time in person since COVID-19. And according to this report, the COVID-19 pandemic created a new billionaire every 30 hours and a million people could slip into the extreme poverty at the same pace in 2022. So the billionaires in the food and energy sectors are boosting their fortunes by $1 billion every two days. Okay. So no need to go into much detail. Only thing you have to remember is this report is from Oxfam International. Now let's see some of the important reports that were in news these days. As per a recent report, economic losses due to pollution have increased as a proportion of GDP, mainly in which countries. So losses are estimated to amount to approximately 1% of GDP in three countries basically, which are these India, China and Nigeria. What is the number of the new internal displacements reported in 2021 as per a recent report? So new internal displacements that have been registered in 2021 are 38 million. As per the recent United Nations World Economic Situation and the Prospect Report, what is the projected GDP growth rate of India in financial year 23? So as per this report, India is expected to grow its GDP by 6% in financial year 2023. As per the drought in numbers 2022 report, effect of the droughts have reduced India's GDP by dash percent. So the effect of droughts have affected India's GDP by 2 to 5 percent. As per a recent report, which country recorded the maximum number of air pollution related death? So India has the maximum number of air pollution related deaths. What is the projected GDP growth rate for India in the fiscal year 2022 to 23 according to the latest ICRA report? So for this fiscal year, the GDP of India is expected to grow by 7.2%. Fine. Next question, which is the first country to introduce 21 day quarantine for monkeypox patients? So Belgium has introduced a mandatory 21 day quarantine for monkeypox patients amidst the raising cases globally. And the World Health Organization has so far confirmed 92 cases of monkeypox in 12 countries basically with 28 more suspected cases under the review. And monkeypox is a kind of disease caused by the monkeypox virus and it is a part of a small pox family. So it has symptoms including rashes, fever, headache, muscle ache and swelling and the back pain. Okay. Now let's see some of the important international current affairs. Which country launched the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework for Prosperity? So US President Joe Biden officially launched the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework for Prosperity in Japan and aim is to counter the growing Chinese influence in Asia. So Prime Minister Narendra Modi participated in the launch event and this IPEF will initially include South Korea, Australia, Brunei, India, Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia, New Zealand, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand and Vietnam. So in total, the countries account for about 40% of the global economic output. Okay, so correct answer is USA. Indian Navy recently undertook coordinated patrol that is corpat exercise with which country? So the fourth addition of Indian Navy Bangladesh Navy Corpat 
commenced in the northern bay of bengal recently and indian navy and the bangladesh navy will undertake the joint patrolling along the international maritime boundary line so two indigenously built ships ins kora and ins sumedha are participating in the exercise along with the bangladesh navy ships and maritime patrol aircraft of both navies would also participate in this patrol okay so correct answer would be bangladesh which country chaired the annual meeting of the board of governors of new development bank so the chair country for this meeting was india anthony albanese has won the presidential elections of which country just i have told you now onwards he is the new president of australia which country chaired the 8th brics environment ministers meeting so whenever the keyword brics would appear answer would be china inside mars lander was launched by which country so this lander was launched by usa okay next question rbl bank has collaborated with which payment service to offer the upi payments so rbl bank has collaborated with amazon pay and amazon web services and they have announced a collaboration to offer the upi payment so the bank has partnered with amazon pay to offer peer to peer and peer to merchant transaction and with this integration amazon pay will issue mpcis allocated upi id to the rbl bank so this step will expand the bank's presence in the unified payment interface segment right now coming to the question slide here we will see some of the important collaborations that have recently took place recently which technology firm collaborated with the bharat petroleum corporation limited that is bpcl and indian oil refinery to improve its customer experience so in order to enhance the customer expansion microsoft has collaborated with bharat petroleum corporation limited which financial startup recently collaborated with the pine labs to offer the tap to pay feature answer is google pay which ngo collaborated with the har and now project to create the win cubate training program this is dhriti which institution collaborated with the rbi innovation hub to support the fintech startup so for this purpose iit bombay has collaborated with the rbi innovation hub to support the fintech startup and in the month of november we have seen that rbi has created a new department within itself called fintech department and the head of which is mr ajay kumar choudhary which state has collaborated with nabard to build fish infrastructure in order to boost the fish production this state is odisha which institution collaborated with indo german project her and now to end the gender based barriers for the women entrepreneur for this atal innovation mission means niti ayog has collaborated with indo german project her and now okay next question which company launched a spot offer on whatsapp to provide in principle home loan approval to the home buyers within 2 minutes so hdfc has launched a spot offer on whatsapp to provide in principle home loan approval to home buyers within just 2 minutes and this platform which has been built by hdfc and cogno artificial intelligence will offer a conditional home loan approval and over 91% of new loan applications received by hdfc are through digital channels so in this new facility provided to salaried resident indians there is no waiting time for the approval letter right now let's see some of the important companies that were in news which company launched the boeing's cst100 starliner into the orbit so boeing cst100 starliner spacecraft was launched in its orbit on a united launch alliance atlas 5 rocket and it was launched on a mission to test the capabilities of the crew capable system as a part of nasa's commercial crew program so starliner lifted off on nasa's boeing orbital flight test 2 from cape canaveral space force station in florida and after certification nasa missions aboard starliner spacecraft will carry up to four crew members to the station okay so correct answer is nasa and if here country was asked then answer would be usa which space company successfully conducted a static fire test of kalam 100 rocket 
yesterday we have discussed about this question answer was sky root arrow space msme ministry launched a credit card for msmes in collaboration with which payment services company so msme ministry has launched this credit card for the msmes after collaborating with rupay which broadcasting company recently signed a memorandum of understanding with argentina's public broadcaster radio television argentina for broadcasting the collaboration this is the prasar bharti rolls royce has opened aerospace engineering and the digital innovation center in bangalore in collaboration with which company so it has opened the center in collaboration with infosys in bangalore which bank recently invested 109 crore rupees in the national asset reconstruction company limited so recently bank of india has invested this much amount in the nrcl fine next question which state has signed a memorandum of understanding with the bharat petroleum corporation limited for the renewable energy so uttarakhand government recently signed mou with bharat petroleum corporation limited for the development of the new and the renewable energy project in the state and uttarakhand chief minister pushkar singh dhami said that the pact would lead to progress in the field of renewable energy especially under solar energy in the state okay coming to the question slide greenco group commenced the construction of its renewable energy storage project in which state so greenco group has commenced the construction of its 5230 megawatt integrated renewable energy storage project in the kurnool district of andhra pradesh okay and it is said to be the world's largest integrated renewable energy storage project and it is also said to help avoid 15 million tons of carbon dioxide emission so greenco is backed by the government investigation corporation of singapore and abu dhabi investment authority of abu dhabi along with oryx corporation from japan okay what is the target year to achieve clean affordable energy for all as per the united nations energy plan of action this target is 2030 which state of india is leading in solar energy generation so rajasthan is at the top in terms of solar energy generation and then rajasthan is followed by karnataka and then andhra pradesh and in total these three states alone accounts 50% of the total solar energy produced in india india recently signed memorandum of understandings on the nuclear energy partnership and the global innovation partnership with which country so india has signed these mous in these fields with the country uk india has recently agreed to develop an alliance for bioenergy and the biofuels with which country answer would be brazil okay next question which state won the hockey india senior women's national championship 2022 so hockey association of odisha became the champion of the 12th hockey india senior women's national championship 2022 at second place it was karnataka and at third it was jharkhand and this tournament was held in bhopal in the state of madhya pradesh right now coming to the question slide Nikhat Zarin who recently won a gold medal for India in the world championship plays which sports so she is related to boxing and from which state she belong to answer is telangana shreya singla who won a gold medal for india at the 24th deaf olympics plays which sports so she is a badminton player anna kabale deoba Who won the two lakh fifty thousand Global Nursing Award twenty twenty two is from which country? She is from the country Kenya. Which Indian grandmaster won hat trick titles after he clinched the first chessable Sunway Formentera twenty twenty two tournament? This is Indian grandmaster D. Gukesh. Which bank's application won the outstanding digital CX SME payments category at the Digital CX Awards twenty twenty two? Answer would be Indusind Bank. Carlos Alcaraz who won the Madrid Open title recently is from which country so he is from the country Spain okay so you can also be asked that who has recently won the Madrid Open do remember answer is Carlos Alcaraz from Spain now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs 
pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this meenu satsana signing off